Were you going to start or Welcome what? to the Russian and the Freak Show episode number 19. 19. How to maintain your equilibrium and function your in the dysfunctional world as a freak family in business and in life so that you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. And this is the Russian and the Freak Show, guys. Thank you so much for staying with us and watching us. You are off the screen on my screen. <laughs> perfect. I'm sure you set it up that way intentionally. So how is it that all the ones I set up are perfectly evenly <laughs> lined up where we're on both all like five cameras I set up? The one camera you set up, it's you centered and you see my pinky of my elbow sticking into the thing and that's it. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Anyway, this is a Rush Down the Freak episode number 19. Holy shit. How do we have 19? I don't know, but... It's how to win at business, family, life, and relationships. Real world situations, real life, real relationships, combining the whole ball of having businesses and families and kids and still just regular combined life all balled up and jumbled together in a big freak show mess. That's what we're talking about on The Rush and the Freak. This is always shit that you need to hear. It's no bullshit, straightforward telling it like it is and how it should be. We've done multiple different screens, so if you want to join the conversation, jump in there and let's talk about it. Today, we're going to be talking about the new year. And so it's the beginning of December, so this is the time that we talk about the new year. We don't wait till the new year to talk about the new year because that's what everyone does. And that's a mistake most people make is they 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 wait till the new year, January, to start talking about the new year. But listen, motherfucker, it already started. You're too late. By the time you figure your shit out, reflect on the previous year, go through all your notes, go through your previous goals, set up charts and graphs and goals and plans and all this other stuff and numbers and metrics for the upcoming year. Next thing you know, it's January 20-something. You've already lost the entire month of January. You already gave away the whole month of December because you figured you're going to be fat like fucking Santa Claus and just take the month off. People just check in, check off January off, off, the, off the calendar when it comes to business and life. And they just think about shopping and eating and Christmas and holidays. They think... They tell themselves in their heads, business is going to be slow. Every, everything is going to be shutting off. No one's taking things seriously. That's the time to step the fuck up. That's the time. So we started now. Actually, this this year we really started this. December 1st is our new year. So it's New Year's. Happy New Year, motherfucker. It's 2022. Yeah, it's going to be like this from now on. And this is great. As Steve said, It's I was thinking even that some t- people wake up and it's the end of the year. And they are already like, wait a second. I have not accomplished anything in this year. So we want this year to be different. So this show today is all about kind of preparing yourself earlier guys so we're going to give you some points good points what we have discussed and what we have um what we discussed together in our meeting how long was the meeting for about what two hours we spent three hours maybe two hours yeah uh together and discussing it for this upcoming year so you you should take these strategies and tactics we're using you should use them first in your business in your family and then even a, a diff a smaller version of this with your kids which we'll get into that with ourselves that's coming up next is doing this with the kids and it's reviewing on the previous year looking over the previous year goals looking over the previous year's answers and reflecting on all that giving yourself scores in specific areas answering a series a long series of questions we're going to go into some of those give you an example but we're not going to have time to go into all of them or else we'll be here for two fucking hours with you and that'll be crazy so if you want a little more on that just just send us an email or something and, and i'll even send you out the entire agenda for the year the way your yearly meeting should be so just email email us and I'll, I'll send that out to you so we're going to go over an idea that the different sections that there are and how to then design the year coming up so taking pretty much the first hour or probably the first 35 45 minutes was reflecting on the previous year and the next hour hour and a half hour 15 whatever that is is now projecting and planning and, and setting up the goals and your ideas and the, the things you want to get done in the new year specific like numbers and we're going to go into all that stuff yes and obviously we uh, we obviously why we is discuss, it, how is it obvious on. though how is it we obvious? were we were I hate, obvi- I hate the word obviously i know obviously, you hold on let's stop uh, <clears throat> we work to, w- hold on hold on hold on we work together right we uh, we have some you businesses on vacation that- or something you look off you're on vacation or something you look lovely tannish in that screen or like 
know. Maybe this screen actually reflecting. That's why I'm looking ten. Look but guys, pumpkin. we we have some of our businesses are set up together that we work together. But some of the businesses Steve's run by himself or run with other people. But obvi obviously, See, when we sit is. when we sit down. So obviously, we just, when we sit down. So it's obvious to them that when we sit down, it's whatever you're gonna say. When we that. When obviously, we, when we sit down, we you know, discuss uh, you know, obviously. our business, our life, the kids. But maybe in your family, maybe in your family, you do not work with your spouse, right? Maybe you do not have a business with your spouse. However, planning it together, and even if you don't have a business with your spouse, asking and getting an idea from your, your husband or your wife or your significant other can help you maybe manage Speaking something. Speaking of businesses or, with your spouse, on your door this, this afternoon, I went by your <laughs> office. And it said it, the door was cracked open partially, and it had a sign on it said "out of office." <laughs> but I heard, like, first of all, I heard your chomping of your gum inside there. I heard chomping, like, nom, nom, nom. and then I heard like your nails, the way you clack on the fucking keys. Oh gosh! Well, why did it say "out of office"? <laughs> I'm just confused. <laughs> It's literally, literally a sign that said "out of office." <laughs> on a Maybe home I office didn't want door, you to come. With the door cracked open, with uh, the gum g clacking the teeth and the clacking of the nails. Guys, this is a. a and it smelled like some kind of like I don't know, some kind of goop, some kind of lotion or something. That was know. smelling like a good candle that I got it from my friend. I burned the candles in my office. Do you burn the candle? I, I start the candle in the morning. Kind of the candle goes out throughout the day, and it, it, it creates that nice atmosphere. That's what it is. But anyway. Now, we I, know got how, now I know how the last forest fire started across the ridge of the mountains there here in California. You're probably meditating, doing your aum, and you freaking fell asleep with that shit and knocked it over. Aum is good, right? But anyway, we got off the topic right now here. We would never do that on here. We would never get off the topic here. We would always stay so focused on the fucking topic, laser beam focused. We're talking about the year. You, you didn't even know. You forgot what your, this whole show was about. No, I know. You're the, you I should, already know. It's it shouldn't be that easy to rattle, <laughs> to rattle your cage. That's right. And that's the the war of the year. It's going to be rattle. How is rattle the word of the year? And we're not even talking about rattlesnake. They're talking about rattling, like making noise. I know, but no, I just... No, you thought it was rattlesnake. Anyway. No. So each year we have goals, specific numbers in the different businesses that you want to create. Of course, money goals, you have hobby goals, you have personal goals, things you wanted to do, things you want to achieve, but you also have kind of habit goals or, or process goals, but then you have achievement goals. Like a habit goal, for instance, is I want to work out three times a week. That's not a specific aspirational achievement goal. It's a, like a, a process goal. So you, you, sh you, you should have certain goals like that where you're saying, all right, I want to do this. I want to drink a gallon of water a day. Those are specific process goals, habit goals. You also should have like a goal with an outcome, with an end, with a measurable number. Like, all right, I want to make $5 million this year. I want to make a million dollars. I want to make $100,000 a year. Whatever it is, that's an actual aspirational like outcome-driven goal. And the way you usually get to that final that goal is by having those six those those process goals that are going to lead to it. So you should have those sets. We review back, look on those for the year. Which ones did we hit? Which ones didn't we hit? Then also we had words of the year. We had themes of the year. And then we looked at those, rated ourselves on those, rated ourselves in a few areas that we're going to go over. And then we created new words of the year and new themes of the year for 2022, which is already started. So happy fucking new year again. <laughs> happy new year. But there I is another, my new year dunce there is another my dunce important aspect to this, I think. And what is that? That when when you review your year, when I was reviewing my year, I was kind of looking also through my notes and like going back to to these months that I've had because sometimes it's like the year can be like with the same like with food. If you don't keep a journal of some kind, you don't even know what you did this year unless you had significant growth, significant change. Like if some people, like if you lost the weight, if you lost 10 or 15 or 20 pounds, you kept it off, like you know it. Or if you created a new business, you would know because it's like a like a, like a tangible um, thing that happened. But for some people, if you work for someone else and you don't have, and you, 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 you just were working, but you didn't think and you didn't look at your week and your month, I think everything is like blended together for a year. I, that's how I think. I don't know. Maybe you guys have a different idea that of whole, this. That whole explanation blended together for me. 
made me think of a joke Tyson said. I'm going to tell like hey, that's This he, is how he listens. That's what Tyson to would me. do when I'm oh, when we do the, when I do the show with the kids and uh, I'm rambling on, Tyson will cut me off and say, "Want to hear a joke?" Because so he, here. Okay. Here's his joke of the week. How do you turn your soup gold? Hmm? How do you turn your soup gold? Soup. How do you gold. turn your bowl of soup gold? <laughs> well, first you can add whatever's on your face. That's one thing. Or you add 14 carrots. Ooh, Tyson's I joke. like this. That's this what he does one. to cut me off when I'm going on to one of those rampages. Yeah, that we were just doing. he, he, stops he, me for he a joke. knows it. He, he says, stops listening. A joke? He goes into his mouth, and that's what exactly what it is. My goal for the new year, the goal for you, is to start listening. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the too. new goal for the year for Steve Acker is start listening. Hell no, you don't know why you go there. Totally. This, and speaking of, if you work for someone else or have like a nine to five job, right? That is no excuse to not set all kinds of ridiculous, crazy, out-of-this-world goals. I don't care if you only make $100,000 a year or $60,000 a year. You know what? There's nothing that says you can't still have a side gig, a side hustle that doesn't require you to be there. You can start an online business. You can do real estate investing. You could do stock market investing. You could do crypto, all these other things. You can start a, a small hobby that turns into a business on the side that you do on the weekends or nights or whatever. So don't make that as an excuse. You could still become a, a fucking millionaire working at a regular job because you still want that safety and security and you like what you're doing and whatever it is and you like your routine and you want that as your foundation. So don't ever let that hold you back. Maybe that needs to be a goal for you for the year if you do have a, a job like that. You can still make shitloads of money on the internet and doing all kinds of other stuff on the side as a side gig. That could end up being your main thing while you're you're, you're replacing your main thing. Yes, if that's a goal. exactly. Because all of us have something Obviously. very, very... Uh, unique and different because there is no other sure. there is, is sure. no other one like you and me like imagine out That's of 7 sure. billion people there's only one you one thank me one Tyson god holy shit I imagine know thank that. god to you can you imagine, imagine two of that. you that would be crazy holy poor fuck. project people poor project candidates that'd be great Ooh. if we could have five if I can clone myself for the project and have a few of me at the same time that'd be fucking awesome I like that but idea. the thing is with what Steve said is it's not gonna happen overnight and it's not gonna happen if you don't put the work into it so even if you work nine to five when you come home you will have to put some work and that's what it's required but think of things that you love that you're good at your hobby something unique that you possess and you love and go all out in 2022 guys because it 2022 is already started motherfuckers a breakthrough year guys this should not this should not be any excuses not to start something amazing and unique so how do we start this meeting? First of all, when you do have, make create family meetings and whether or not you're in business together, it doesn't matter. You still should have family meetings because you still have a fucking family and you should be running your family like a business, just like you would have business meetings with an agenda, with goals, with metrics, with charts, with all kinds of shit and checklists and all that other good stuff. How do we start off? So the yearly thing, we started off really basically project style. We took family, we took fitness, and we took finances and rated those on a scale of one to 10. Now, when we, usually when we rate stuff on a daily basis, we rate it one to five. It's a different scale. But yearly, we want to break it down a little, stretch it out, so it was one to 10. So we rated those three things, family, fitness, finances. Then we took some other other keywords and metrics that we use on a regular basis. We're not gonna go through all of them, but things like leadership, communication, and all that stuff. Obviously, my communication was a fucking 10, obviously. If there was a listening score, that would be off the motherfucking charts. That would be charts. obviously off. That would obviously be off the motherfucking charts. But, there, then we took our like the theme of the year. Can I can I can I just interrupt you for a second? Oh, what else? Can I raise my hand? How do you? So you're Professor asking. Professor Eckert. So normally you don't ask for permission to interrupt. But so I need to hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to, I need to for a second because this was a, a breakthrough moment for me this year. Because as you rate yourself, you rate first of all, you need to rate yourself. In a quiet time, not with your spouse. Your spouse is doing this on whoa, their whoa, own. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you trying to say? No, 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 no! No, let me. What are you trying to say? I'm just that gonna no say. Quiet. Like, hold on. You can't have a quiet time. So with no, uh, God, your spouse. Can I finish? He is do He did his review. I did my review, and then we meet and we speak up these scores. And sometimes what was breakthrough moment for me, I did not give myself a high enough score on something. And then Steve was like, wait a second, you did above and beyond and you do all the well, other I stuff. Above, <laughs> let's not throw in extra words in there. 
There was a couple. Okay, this is my There was work. a couple of things where I said, all right, that one probably shouldn't be that low because of this and this. And I'm going to start throwing it up. Okay. Oh, you did fantastic. <laughs> Obviously, you were fucking awesome. I just said it shouldn't be a two. Maybe it should be a... You're going to knock this off the fucking counter. Shoot. It shouldn't be a two. Maybe it should be a three and a half or something. Out of, out no, of no, no. But the point is that sometimes we might not give ourselves high enough score we that might not appreciate our work but then the other person will appreciate that because it's all the 360 view it's that bird eye view that we cannot do it ourselves and it's good to do that you can do this with your spouse but also with your kids because if you ask your kids they will be so honest and tell you exactly straight through so i think that are you done interrupting is i that, raised my that hand uh, that don't don't th that's like at school Let's, let's stick to that. Let's keep that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Professor on, Egghead. So they call me Professor Egghead when we're going into teaching mode and, and homeschooling mode. We homeschool the kids. There was a thing today. Someone someone put a post. I homeschool my kids and they spelled school S-K-O-O-L. But the point was he'd rather their kids not have the, the highest level of math and reading that they would get in school for, to, for the sacrifices that they're getting that they could teach them and to teach them to think for themselves at home because he obviously homeschools his kids. That would be awesome. Free. It's actually a guy who we're going to, to Maine. School. We're going to Maine to do a squire program at his house coming up in May or April, this guy. See, that would be like a freak mode, freak code school. Home, this is. It's every week right here. Freak mode school is Monday through Friday. There's a live show. This is the fifth show this week. A, That's a awesome. live show. So we also... Rated ourselves on decaf. We've talked, we had a whole show on decaf in the past. We're not going to go over the details of it, but this discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak. Your freak score, your freak mode score. We rated ourselves on those. Then also rated ourselves on our theme. My theme of the year was shut up. Shut up with an arrow that says speak up. Basically, no one to shut up, no one to speak up. Start off the year shutting up so that you could speak up in the right times. That was my theme of the year. Got an average score on that. I could say it wasn't great, as you can fucking probably tell. But what are you doing? Be eyeballing me. I can see you in the camera here with these little beady eyes eyeballing me while I'm saying this. Like, do you have something to say about that? <laughs> no, I even that, said I gave myself now, just an average score on that. Now one. imagine I am a woman and he speaks to me like this. What happens in the project? I gave Guys, myself the next a score. project. I don't feel, try to start getting all feel, these groups out worried. here. They'll be out here fucking protesting outside of our house. Don't give people they don't all know worked where up. They, where we live. Don't people getting all getting people all fucking worked up. <laughs> Jesus, now I gotta look over my shoulder. I have, I have a sniper Good, you should be looking over your shoulder anytime yeah. you're stepping out of your. We car. choose houses that always have to have elevation. There needs to be sniper nests all over. So don't come to our house. Bring it. Anyway, now see now I know what the fuck I was talking about. So then, shut up. So then the, the shut up, I had an average score. Uh, the scores we're getting, we're not even going to where our scores are because it doesn't matter. But I think I get, had like a seven I gave it for that because it it could have been, whatever. It's improvement. It was probably a three the year before, so that's a hell of a fucking improvement. It was at least 100% improvement. My three words of the year were create, connect, and close. And those were all, I gave myself fairly high scores in those. So I didn't shut up, but at least when I didn't shut up and spoke up, it was to create and, create and connect and close in a decent amount of time. And then we had to create new themes and new words for the year. We'll get to that in a second, but you'll have to wait to hear those if you want to know what those, that new theme of mine, personal, and we're not going to break down what they all mean. I'm just going to give them to you on Steve Says, actually this week coming up on Tuesday. I'll be breaking those down into detail, but we're just going to give them to you here. In addition to that, we had different categories on, on, on first reflecting. Again, don't forget that first 35, 45 minutes was on 2021. Reflecting on it, going over what we did, what we didn't do, it was things on different types of actions. And actions. listen, don't fight during this meeting, please. Do not fight. There's and don't not interrupt pointing. people, obviously, I, I during this meeting. I have to jump in. Do not it was things like It was things like, what did you take action on? What did you fail to take action on? There were sections on action, on accountability, on, on and connect, making connections, on creating things. What did you create? What did you fail to create? What did you take accountability for? What did you fail to take accountability for? Things like that. We could go on. There's a, a whole long list, pages and, uh, uh, several pages of this that we go over and that's the main section. And then of course there's goal sections. There's other, tons of other sections. Again, accountability, uh, an acceptance section that you need to, of what you need to accept, achievements and accomplishments for the year. There were your wins. Then going into the upcoming year and the previous year, looking at decisions. What decisions did you make? Would you fail to make? What decisions you need to make in the upcoming year? There was design, which the design section was what did you design this year? What did you create? What did you build? What needs to be designed? How do we need to set up the process and the system for the year coming up? And then there's a dream section, all the Ds, which is what are the dreams? That What dreams did you 
achieved this previous year and which ones are you setting for the upcoming year? So this is an ongoing thing. And we didn't even get to all this because there's so many sections to it. So there is a part two to this that we'll be doing together. When I do this with private coaching clients, we actually break this up into sometimes three or four segments because we do deep dives into each one. And sometimes one little point or one little question can turn into a full-blown conversation, a full-blown coach coaching conversation that needs to be dug deep and explored and whatever else. So you don't rush this stuff, which is why my theme for 2022, which has already started, as you can see, I'm already implementing it here today, is slow down. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> yes, this is fucking slow right now. It's slow down, but just like last year had shut up with an arrow to speak up, this year is slow down with an arrow to speed up. It's to know when to slow down, know when to speed up. Sometimes you got to slow down your fucking head. Sometimes you got to slow down your reactions. Sometimes you just got to slow down your fucking speaking. Like right now, I probably have to slow down my motherfucking speaking, but we have a lot to say and not a lot of time to say, so I'm not going to slow down right now, but I probably should be. Wow, that was I should fast. work at one of those I, 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 well, At one point, I was remember what I wanted to say. Now I forgot totally. Obviously, probably it was. It was probably obviously. Steve is correct again. Oh, yes, I know what I wanted to say to you when you were talking about the dreams. You know who who, who said this famous quote, quote, if you dream it, you can do it. Do you know who said that? No. Walt Disney. I'm not sure if that's we, how it went. I think he butchered his fucking quote. No. Just if you dream it, you can do it? Yes. I think it was a little more deeper than no. do it. No, you can do it. If you dream it, you can do it. Sure this it is what achieve? Yeah. No, you can do it. And I, I, I know, and I, the reason why I thought about this, I absolutely love his story. If you've never watched the biography of Walt Disney, watch it. Why was that he was born? On, why was he born? Was he before well, he, Hill or like same time as Napoleon Hill? He was after he Napoleon was, Hill. He was... He was... Mm, here and 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 he was he was way after Hill it was nineteen thirty. Think Napoleon Hill was if you maybe he if was you believe you can achieve. It's, yeah, it's the same thing. He was, that actually rhymes yeah. and sounds. He was well Walt Disney. He was wasn't he like nineteen thirty or some December? I know that he was born in December. I don't know if I'm making it right fifth, but I I know in Chicago, Illinois. I know that that he comes from, but. Shit, I, you, don't I, even, you know more about Walt Disney's fucking birthday and birthplace and time, his blood type, his social security number. The what? Then you know about Walt Disney. Then you know about my fucking birthday. He was absolutely amazing entrepreneur. He was very aggressive, more like a Rockefeller kind of with that aggressive uh, goal setting. And and that's what I'm saying. If you haven't watched the, the biography of him, watch it or maybe read it. It's pretty amazing how he turned his dream into reality. And now we have. Me and Mickey running around. <laughs> the fuck was that? That shit was creepy. <laughs> I love this. Don't you love Minnie and Mickey Mouse? Settle down. Not that much. Fuck. I love it. All right. Fuck. I, we, want, we have Disneyland right, running around You're creeping the people the out. You're creeping the people out. So goals. They're, they're, listen, there's a whole long list of, of sections and questions. If you want that entire list, just send me a comment, send me a message. I'll email you the entire list. So just send it out. Send it to me and I will email it to you. We can't go over the whole thing because we'll be here all day. Because look, look how much she just talks on one little tiny thing about it. fucking yeah. Mickey and Minnie. Awesome. We'll, be here, we'll be here all I fucking day. I gave you some good points today. So my words then for this upcoming year are focus, grow, and motherfucking explode. And the motherfucking has to be in there. And violently, violently. Even this violently is the overarching, over everything. It's like the umbrella word over everything. Because... The slow down leads to the explode with all that stuff. Holy shit. All that stuff in between with the grow, with the speed up. Because you want to grow and you want to speed up. It all flows and you see it flows together. And it all gets done fucking violently. Even slow down violently if that makes sense to you. And it doesn't matter because they're my fucking words and my year. And it makes sense to me in my head. So it all needs to get done violently. It's focus, grow, to explode. And these all have arrows. These all flow together. These all grow together. So those, that's, that's, that's what you also need to do is set a theme for the year. Set some words for the year. And you know what? The year of 2021, 365 days in the year, I'm not sure if I missed a day that I didn't write down that theme and those three words every single morning and every single night. I don't think I missed a day. My, I don't, maybe like on a 24-hour challenge. No, even those days I would fucking do it. Maybe I missed one or two days. I'm not sure. You always write during the project too, right? You so write during, during the project. project. So that even gets done then. All those, the ratings get done each day. There's, there's AM journaling and PM journaling. And this is what this, these themes and words, they drill in. That's why they be, make you successful. That's why they should fucking mean something to you. That's why you set these goals. And these goals, the goals we write down for the year. 
There's not a time I didn't write them down there in the first thing in the morning after the part of the morning routine, writing them down every single day and then every single night, 365 days. All right, I'm going to, I'll say I missed five days. I don't know, maybe I did, probably not even that many, but I'll say but, 360 days out of 365. I've written down that theme of the year. I've written down those words of the year, like literally, I've written it down every freaking day. I've written it down every day to, to create, to connect, to close. I've written it down every day, shut up to the hour to speak up. I've written it down every day, decaf, discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak, every single fucking day. And then the list of goals, of course, the list of gratitude. But these goals you're talking about now that we've created, they should be process goals, things you want to do. They should be achievement goals, things you actually want to achieve with like a number on it. I want to make this amount of money. I want to have this, but whatever. And then there's also be philosophical goals. Like I want to be more of this type of person. I want to do more, think more like this. You should have philosophical goals about just the way you want to operate, like operational goals. I guess that would be a word for it. I don't know. I just kind of made that up. But you, you should have those kind of goals also because I do have those and I write those down every single fucking and day also. this should be in the morning. I've looked through a lot of journals, guys, and a lot of journals would not have a morning routine. They would just ask you how your day went. But this doesn't make any sense to just to do evening routine. You need to have morning routine and evening routine, the same like you get up and you brush your teeth, you have a routine. So our routine, that's what Steve actually broke it down. And by rewriting those things over and over again, it's always in front of you, it's always in your head and re you repetitively do the same thing over and over. And somebody one time asked me like, how? what's the point of doing it? Because it gets into your head. It You start believing it because the thing is that your mind does not know what's the future, what's the reality. Like if you gonna, that's what it is. That's how it works. And if you start believing in your dream, the dream becomes reality. And it's not some If you things. get off your fucking ass and take yes, some action. Yes, it has like, to be action. There's no point of creating these goals we're talking about. All right, have this meeting, create these goals. We're telling you all great. Sounds all cool. Oh, I want to have a fucking boat. I want to take vacation every fucking month or whatever it is. It's all bullshit. If first, you're not drilling it into your brain and into your life every single day, literally, like I'm talking about writing it down. It sounds fucking stupid, but that's it. Write it down, but that's just step one. Well, step two, you created it. Step one, step two is write it down. Step three is to then create those processes that are every day on a daily basis you have to actually do. Get off your off your fucking ass, off the couch, turn off the Get Netflix, shit done, put guys. the fucking ice Get cream tub away, put down, down the bag of Doritos and Cheetos and, and go make shit happen. Get stuff done. Get off your ass and take freaking action on it. Have those process goals set up. They're going to lead to that goal. Like years ago, I wanted in personal training, I wanted to make a whopping $50,000 a year. That was my goal. I would be happy that at the end of it, I could, I could die happy. As a personal trainer, I wrote that down every day. That happened in like months. Then I wanted to make $100,000 a year. Then it became two fifty. dollars Write it down, happened. $500 million. And it just keeps happening and happening. It didn't happen because I wrote it down. It happened because I wrote it down, drilled it into my head, and then wrote down, okay, now what do I need to do to make that happen? And there's nothing wrong with having a massive number of money, a massive amount of money as a goal. It's nothing superficial or, or whatever about it because... When I, all right, I say I want to make a million dollars a year in personal training. Like, holy fuck, all right? Now when I'm talking about what I need to do to get there on a daily, a quarterly, a weekly basis to do it, all right, I have to get this amount of new clients. Now, if I get this amount of new clients, I have to keep this amount of new clients. And I need this amount of referrals from each of those new clients. Now, in order to get them, to keep them, and to get referrals, I'm going to need this amount of staff to help me out to do it. So now I'm employing other people, giving other people work. Then I'm getting clients, getting them a certain amount of results, which means their lives are changing, their lives are transforming, and then they're, I need them to give me referrals. If they're giving me referrals, that means their lives are good. Now it's a force multiplier. Look at the amount of help and change and transformation and fucking impact you could have on the world just by making a money goal. So there's nothing fucking wrong with money. So stop with the bullshit and thinking, oh, I want to make, I just want to make an impact. I don't really care about money. Just That's just fucking stupid, okay? It's stupid. It's bullshit. And you know you do care about money. And if you don't, you're fucking stupid because you should care about money because if you just want to go help the world and feed the poor people. Guess what? Money will help you do that. Money will be the vehicle that helps you to do that. Helps you go travel around where you want to travel. Helps you not have to stay in that nine to five job all the time where you can then donate or help or give out or build fucking houses, build schools, whatever the hell you want to do, however the hell you want to use your money. Yes, and that's why the evening routine comes in place too because then you got to look like, ask yourself a question. Did I really do the steps that I supposed to do today. I have that dream that I put at least an hour of work. 
Yeah, and it's fine. This it's is not a gonna family show. We're not, not back to where we met. We're not back at the strip club in Tijuana. It's not. It's like, not gonna Jesus, go put anywhere. Your clothes back on. We're not back in the strip club in Tijuana where we it's met. It's not gonna go anywhere. No, you, you guys are not gonna see anything. All right. The French fries and all that. <laughs> so that's you have to ask yourself those questions. Like, okay, I have this dream. I put it down, but did I act on it today? Did I do anything? And now the week comes. And then you do a review on, on the week and you have that dream and then you didn't do anything for the whole entire week. So now you got to say, wait a second, I will never get there until I start acting on it. So what I need to do this week to stop procrastinating and stop, you know, being afraid of being judged or ridiculed or whatever there is or whoever is stopping you in your mission, you need to say, you know what, I need to do this. Me? No, I'm Whoever just going, stopping you in your mission, I'm fucking I'm pointing at me. I'm just slower, less. So Where the point is, set up these meetings, set up the goals, get off your ass, set up different types of goals, goals that are on a something you're gonna need to do on a daily basis for habits and processes, uh, longer term, end of the year goals that have an actual some kind of value or something measurable, some kind of number that's trackable to say yes or no, I didn't do it, and then your own ways that you want to be, your own philosophical operational goals of how you want to operate, how you want to fucking live, how you want to attack 2022 violently. And if you need help with any of this, stay tuned for the upcoming Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Challenge coming up. It is a habit challenge. It's 40 days and 40 nights of just suffering, hardship, getting your shit together, and just working and building on really your mental toughness when it comes down to it. And it's setting up the stage for fucking domination in all areas of life your mind, your body, your business, and then is even a social element where it ties all that together, where you put all three of those together and give it, put it back out into the world, which is the whole point. So <clears throat> if you want information on that, that's coming in the next couple of weeks. So send me a message. You'll get on the wait list for that to make sure you get information about the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Challenge that is coming up. Yes, guys. So thank you so much for watching today and participating. And if you have any questions, just po post uh, the comments down below and we can get to him. If not, this has stay been tuned. the Russian and the Freak episode number 19. Finish them One all. night. Finish them all. I'm going to scroll Finish down them. here. Thank you guys for participating, watching us, being with us. Stay tuned and make sure to sign up for our YouTube channel. There is a Peak Physique and why you can check Steve Eckert and Eva Eckert on YouTube for.